The Utah Pride Festival and Parade is now just four weekends away. It is coming up on June 1st and 2nd. And here to tell us more how that festival is shaping up is the Pride Festival Volunteer Director. This is Ash Houghton. Hi. The movie's Other Side of Heaven and Brian Carlson is in trouble, Ash. So I'm glad you're here to save us. <laughs> I witnessed it. You, you did remember it. it. Threw me under the bus. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I want to help you because you're being so kind to me. You need volunteers I this do. year. This is your thir third year as volunteer director, but you've been part of this for six years. Mm -hmm. Why is this event important in our community? Um, well, the f the festival is essentially a huge fundraiser for the Utah Pride Center. Everything that is raised goes back to helping the center and funding all of the amazing programs that they have. And those are those are really important to me. Like as a member of the community, we need. A, a bit uh, center like this to help people. This is not a tiny event. If you've ever been part of it, everybody, there's a lot to coordinate. It's a huge parade, mm -hmm. and then the fest all festival all around it. Yeah, it's it's massive. We have tens of thousands of people show up to the festival itself and the parade, and we need so many volunteers. Okay, to tell help. our viewers what do you need help with? We need hundreds of volunteers. Still, it takes over a thousand people to put this festival on thousands of hours to make it work and we need people to come and help our green team with keeping the water stations filled and helping keep the grounds clean we need people to pour beer we need people to bartend we need people to help get the patrons into the gate we can't do this festival without volunteers and what do the volunteers get for the volunteering everyone that volunteers for a four-hour shift gets two free tickets into the festival a t-shirt with the uh, exist resist persist logo on it which is this year's theme and a reusable water bottle with the Utah Pride Center logo on and it. And you get to feel good mm -hmm. about being part of a huge event that's important to our community. Bigger and better every year. Yeah. Yeah. It, it gets bigger every year and it just kind of blows me away how much like traction we've gotten and how much more involvement we get. And are you always nervous up until it happens and then it just somehow comes together? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the closer it gets, the less of a brain I feel like I have. I'm sure. And then the gates open and it just works and everything comes together and it's amazing. So this is just weeks away, everybody, right there that first weekend in June. If people out there would like to volunteer, what should they do? Um, you can go to the Utah Pride Center's website. It's just utahpridecenter.org. Um, there's a section for the festival and you can sign up to volunteer. We've got all of the shifts available and all of the locations that you can volunteer available on the website. Well, and did you hear, Ash? Hundreds and hundreds needed. So make sure you hop on that site, go to ours and we'll link you. Again, that Pride Festival and Parade coming up on June 1st and June 2nd. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.